Hey guys, thanks for showing up. In this video, I wanted to illustrate why an elliptical is such a great piece of equipment. If you're training on a treadmill, you should consider substituting that for training on an elliptical. It will work your muscles for the running stride better than a treadmill can. Don't believe me? Watch this video and you'll find out. Now what I've done is I've placed two videos side by side. On the left is the elliptical stride and on the right is the treadmill stride. As you can see, the mechanics are fairly similar between the two strides. Now in its simplest terms, what you're doing is you're lifting a foot up and pushing it into the ground. Lifting your foot up and pushing it into the ground. That's basically all running is. Now running speed is a combination of two factors, stride frequency and stride length. Stride length is your ability to put your foot into the ground and move yourself a certain distance. So let's say a guy has a stride length of three meters and another guy has stronger legs that allow him to stride four meters. If they both have the same stride frequency, then the person who has the greater stride length will be the one that's running faster. Now you may be asking yourself, what does this have to do with an elliptical versus a treadmill? Well, the important key factor is how the resistance is applied by the elliptical machine and how the treadmill belt moves at its pace. The treadmill belt moves horizontally, but the elliptical has resistance on those pistons that force you to push it downwards into the ground. The treadmill doesn't have resistance up and down, so you can't really work force application to create stronger strides. With the elliptical, if you crank up the resistance, those foot pedals now have resistance to moving up and down. And so your leg has to pump like a piston to push it to the ground, push it downwards. By adding resistance to the stride movement that an elliptical machine can provide will give you stronger legs to put your foot onto the ground harder for force application. This will give you stronger legs, stronger strides, and allow you to move farther with each stride. Another great thing that the elliptical trainer does is it keeps your feet directly underneath your hips. This is a position to apply maximum force to the ground. It is called triple extension. That is extension of the ankle joint, knee joint, and hip joint. And now one great way to train on the elliptical is to not hold onto anything. When you're running, you can't hold onto something for your balance. You have to learn to balance on just your legs. So when you're on the elliptical trainer, allow your hands to freely move through the normal running stride. Pump your arms and pump your legs in unison. Remember, those foot pedals have resistance to them. So you're going to have to pump your legs fast and hard down with each stroke to keep up a good pace. Now in this video shown, my feet are in constant contact with the pedals. But in this video, I'm actually lifting my foot off of the pedal like I was running outside somewhere. This is more like natural running and will train you for that force application. You're lifting your foot off of the pedal and then striking it down as hard as you can to produce force. So there you have it guys. I've explained how a treadmill stride and an elliptical stride have very similar mechanics, but the added resistance that the elliptical provides will train your legs better to apply force into the ground. You're able to push the ground harder, you're able to move farther, and you're on your way to running faster. Now it's important to note that I'm not saying training on an elliptical will make you a faster runner. What I'm saying is that it will set you up to be a faster runner. It does this by training your muscles to apply force onto the ground harder. If you're able to push the ground harder, you're able to run faster. Now my recommendation would be to take your treadmill running and your elliptical running and split them 50-50. The elliptical training will train your legs to push onto the surface harder. That will set you up to be a faster runner. Then when you do your treadmill running, that's going to focus on your stride frequency and focus on stitching all of the running mechanics together. So go train and run faster. Thanks for showing up, guys.